Well, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation has long worked to protect North America's largest estuary. Now it's helping the next generation take matters into their own hands. The foundation's headquarters in Annapolis teaches teenagers to be conscious of their environment. News 4's Megan McGrath tells us about some of the ways it's helping save the bay. It's like a small little one. Protecting the fish and wildlife in and around the Chesapeake Bay. It's the mission of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. And that work starts not on a boat or a dock, but here at the Philip Merrill Environmental Center. Situated on the bay outside of Annapolis, the building is not just a workplace, but also a teaching tool. Students are brought in for tours and they learn how environmentally friendly construction can help save the bay. Simple things like um, recycling or using less water or something like a rain barrel that you can make at home. Really everything, everything helps, everything matters. The building has a platinum LEED certification, the highest green rating there is. Sustainable and recycled building materials were used. There are green roofs that reduce runoff and solar panels for power. We have our rain barrels on the front of the building, which help collect that rainwater, which we ultimately use for um, like hand washing and lawn care and things like that. Uh, we have the composting toilets and the clivuses, which help with using less water and also the nutrient pollution in the bay. Yep, you heard that right, a composting toilet. You do your business and throw in a handful of wood chips. It's scary. <laughs> I don't like that. That, that. that looks like a little black hole of this. This is an incredibly environmentally friendly building. After the tour, these students from Bowie High School went down to the water to take a look at all the creatures living in the shadow of the Merrill Center. It's got some different readings on it. They also took water quality samples, further proving that what happens on land affects what happens in the bay. In here. Yes, it is. I just saw here. it. Yeah. The fact that like I'm finding like pretty small, like healthy looking fish. It's, it's pretty nice here. It's actually really impactful for the water because all this like trash and stuff that we throw away, it can wash into the water and affect everybody that lives in there. This is our earth. We got to keep it clean, keep it safe. And this is the water that we're going to be using in the future. Megan McGrath, News 4.